Okay, the first one has an angle measure that's unknown, but it's located in the interior of a circle. So the relationship to set up and solve for this is any angle whose vertex is inside of a circle or in the interior of a circle is equal to one half the sum of the intercepted arcs. So again, we're looking at the angle itself. So that intercepts an arc of 112 and its vertical angle pair. So if we look at the vertical angle, it intercepts an arc of 46 degrees. And so you'll calculate this to get your measure for x. Okay. Part B, again, it's a same concept. In this case, you have your two intercepted arcs. This time, one of them is your unknown. You know that interior angle. And then you know the other intercepted arc. So it's the same relationship that exists. The angle whose vertex is inside of a circle, so this one has a given angle measure of 65 degrees, is equal to 1 half the sum of the intercepted arcs, so x plus 50. Okay, and so now you can, again, solve this. Easy way to approach it if you're using your TI-89 is just to use the solve feature. Okay, if you're doing this by hand, um, a number of you um, prefer to like when you see this, you just automatically distribute. You get 65 is equal to 1 half x plus 25. And you can do this. It's fine to do it this way. You would then subtract the 25 from both sides. You get 40 is equal to 1 half x. And now to undo or isolate your x, you'd multiply both sides of this equation by 2. Okay, so you get 80 is equal to x. Okay, so that's one way to approach it. Another way, though, instead of distributing a one-half through, which will give you a fraction to work with, if you just multiply both sides by 90, or both sides by 2 up in this first step to get rid of your half on the right side, it might be an easier calculation. So, so if you had doubled each side, the, left, or the right side cancels. On the left side, you get 130 is equal to x plus 50. And now you solve for x by subtracting 50 from both sides. Again, the calculation doesn't matter um, as long as it works for you, but oftentimes getting rid of <coughs> fractions as early in the problem as possible is the ideal step. Okay, this last one is probably the most challenging of these. Again, you're, you're looking at the same relationship, which is you have these intercepted arcs. And this time you're given an angle of 96. Now, this angle is in the interior of your circle. Okay, however, the arcs that are intercepted are these two arcs. And okay, so in order to find these two arcs, you need to be using the angle that intercepts them. And that angle is this set, not the 96. But can we find what this angle is pretty easily? Yeah, it's a linear pair with 96. So if we just take 180 minus 96, you get your angle measure of 84. And now you can set up your calculation. So you know that the angle whose vertex lies inside of a circle is equal to the average of the intercepted arcs, or 1 half the sum. So if we take 2x plus 21 and we add that to x, we'll now get our solution. So again, if you solve this equation for x, that will be your answer. Again, I'm not going to go through the calculation. I figure you can uh, do that one on your own.